You know, after getting five, soon to be six, seasons of The Flash by this point, it's probably an understatement to say that we've seen quite a few different speedsters running around on screen, like Ebart Thawne, Wally West, Hunter Zolomon, Jay Garrick, Future Barry, other Future Barry. But out of all the speedsters we've seen so far, the only one we really don't know all that much about, well, the first one we didn't know all that much about anyway, is the very first version of Barry Allen, the guy Eobard originally fought against before he ran back in time, hung out with a gorilla, pretended to be in a wheelchair, and you guys already know the rest of the story by this point. Now we have heard bits and pieces about OG Barry from Eobard throughout Season 1 and during Flashpoint, but even then though, we really don't know all that much about him. Did he have a Team Flash like we've seen current Barry hanging around with? How fast do you think this Barry could go? And do you think he was actually a pretty competent CSI, or do you think he just had Gideon or Cisco or Iris tell him everything he needed to know about anything he was doing, like this Joker? Seriously though, I don't know about you guys, but I think it'd be fun to get at least one episode showing OG Barry operating as the Flash, at the very least something that shows wherever he went after he saved himself as a kid. I mean, we've seen future Barry saving his younger self multiple times throughout Season 1, but we don't know what happened to him afterwards. Seriously, apparently he just decides to leave a murderer in his house, take off down the street, and is never seen again afterwards. A little insight into that line of thinking might be appreciated, don't you think? Seriously though, it does sort of bring up an interesting question. What exactly happened to the original Barry after he fought Eobard that night? Well, the easiest option, outside of just saying he died or something, but I'll get back to that in a little bit, is to just say he got taken out by the Speed Force for screwing around with the past, either by a Time Wraith or by the Black Flash. Current Barry's had to deal with the Speed Force getting pissy at him every time he so much as sneezes the wrong way, so it's not exactly hard to imagine his original future self probably had a run-in with at least one Time Wraith after helping trash his own house and almost giving his mom a heart attack in the process. That having been said though, I'm pretty sure OG Barry didn't have to deal with the Speed Force after that fight with Eobard, at least for a couple reasons. First off, considering how the Speed Force is usually pretty quick to send out something to deal with rogue speedsters when it wants, it seems weird that both Eobard trying to erase the guy generating the Speed Force, in the comics anyway, probably the same thing in the show, and Future Barry fighting him in the past and helping him screw around with a timeline don't really get the Speed Force's attention at all. I mean, we don't even get a hint of anything chasing after either one of them after that fight. The Time Wraith has found me, but then I thought, no, 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 you know what you're doing. No, the Time Wraith is after someone who's traveled through time and doesn't know what they're doing. Apparently, you don't need to be that careful. Just run back in time and kill somebody, potentially erasing the speed force in the process. Nobody's gonna care. Now, having said that, I know somebody's gonna argue, well, maybe the speed force did send a Time Wraith after Future Barry, but it just popped up down the street or something and we didn't see it. Even ignoring the fact that the Speed Force apparently never sent one after Eobard immediately after that dude significantly changed the timeline, that still leads me into point number two. That being, I'm pretty sure Future Barry could have easily handled whatever the Speed Force decided to send his way anyway. Seriously, if the current Barry from Season 3 onwards can casually deal with time rates and even outrace the Black Flash, which I guess isn't that special since Killer Frost froze him before he could react in the Season 3 finale, but still, then you'd think the original Barry, so long as he didn't get caught off guard like a chump, could, I don't know, just spin his arms at time rates or whatever, and that'd be that. So, okay, if the Speed Force wasn't really bothered to try to get him, then what really happened to OG Barry? Well, based on everything we've gotten from the show so far, my best guess is that he managed to do exactly what Eobard was trying to do throughout the first season, and actually got back to the future in one piece. But comics, aren't you forgetting about the future newspaper Eobard brought with him? That thing always just says the Flash disappears during a crisis, not that he left for a minute and got back. Plus, Nora's update paper even said he was still gone decades later. And that's true, but you didn't let me finish. OG Barry did manage to get back to the future, only to end up getting erased by his younger self after that guy and his alternate daughter stupidly altered the timeline like 50 times. Now, I'm not going to get into a whole Arrowverse time travel lesson in this video, because honestly, that's an entire video in and of itself, but we do need to keep a couple things in mind here. First off, as established back in Season 2, speedsters can write out timeline changes by hiding out in the Speed Force. Eddie Thawne died, so Eobard Thawne should have been erased out of existence, right? Not necessarily. This is possible Eobard was in the Speed Force, protecting him like a bomb shelter. So regardless of whether or not OG Barry knowingly let Eobard kill his mom, as I talked about in one of my other videos, feel free to check it out. It's definitely possible he just ran into the Speed Force to go back home and ended up saving himself from the changes to the timeline in the process. Assuming he did make it home though, he'll still eventually run into one of the problems with Arrowverse time travel. That being that changing the timeline always seems to overwrite the previous timeline and form a new series of events. 
no sh Seriously, current Barry's already changed the timeline a few times now, and Nora's done the same thing in a misguided attempt to save her dad, so unless OG Barry was always actively watching and waiting for his new self to do something after getting back home, I'm pretty sure he's already been erased by this point, along with everybody else in whichever timeline he wound up in. Hell, we already technically have proof that that version of Barry would have been erased by the time Nora came around. Even ignoring the fact that Iris is clearly all by herself in that future, we also got confirmation from Eobard that OG Barry's daughter was named Dawn. It's, um, Dawn, if I'm not mistaken. But in the message Barry left behind, he refers to her as Nora. 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 So, yeah, clearly this is supposed to be a future version of the Barry we've been watching up to this point, which I guess means OG Barry is down for the count? But not so fast though. Again, based on the rules that we've gotten throughout the show so far, we know that the original timeline Barry still exists and could, potentially, meet current Barry again in the future. Again, not to get into a whole thing about speedster time travel, but the Speed Force really does not like paradoxes and will do whatever it has to to fix them. Up to and including leaving a copy of somebody in the timeline just to preserve events as they've already happened. Remember how Eobard's ancestor Eddie shot himself in the season 1 finale, erasing the evil speedster from existence? That should have been the end of Eobard, but Barry's run back in time and interacted with him multiple times now. Why? Because not keeping a copy of Eobard there would have meant that all of Season 1 didn't happen, which would mean Eddie would still be alive. But if he's still alive, then Eobard's still alive too, so he'd still end up trying to kill child Barry, leading to the events of Season 1, and things just loop like that for a while. See, that's the thing about time travel, Barry. The more you do it, the less the rules apply to you. The same thing applies to OG Barry. I mean, even if we assume that he did end up getting erased after saving himself, we know that current Barry's seen him multiple times when he ran back in time, so a version of him still clearly out there. Who knows? Maybe with Crisis just around the corner, we could see the original Barry Allen come back at some point and team up with all the other speedsters to take down the Anti-Monitor. That'd be pretty cool, right? Well, yeah, but we probably won't be seeing that. I mean, yeah, never say never and all that, especially when it comes to time travel, comic books, and superheroes, but OG Barry's been gone almost as long as the show's been around, and we haven't exactly seen or heard anything more about this version of Barry since Flashpoint, so it's not very likely we'll ever see any more of him in action. Still, never say never, right? But anyways guys, that's my take on what might have happened to the version of The Flash from the original timeline. If you guys agreed with anything I said in this video, or if you have your own thoughts you want to throw out there, then go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then go ahead and click that like button, and if you're new, maybe consider clicking that subscribe button too. I've also got links to my Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and Patreon in the description. You should probably check those out too. And if you want to see more of my content, then you can click the link to my last video. It's right there in the middle of your screen. Alright, and I will see you all next time.